True Psychic Tales magazine. It's me again, Rasputin Aquato. I know I write a lot, and you haven't printed any of my True Psychic submissions so far, but this one's different. This one's true. I just helped rescue Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts, and father of Lily Zanotto, my girlfriend. Although the term is still very fresh and might need fact-checking before we go to print. There was a kiss, but... Okay, I'm already getting off track. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up in the circus, the Aquato Family Circus, a ragtag little caravan of acrobats run by my parents. We were taught all our lives to hate and fear psychics, or fortune-tellers as we knew them. All because of some old thing where they cursed the Aquatos to die in water. Problem is, I am psychic. I have been all my life. I hid my powers from my family, practicing them in secret, until one fateful night. After a show, a mysterious stranger handed me a brochure for Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, a training facility for psychic kids operated by the International Espionage Agency we all know as bum, 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 the Psychonauts. I ran away from home that night. When I got to Whispering Rock, I blended in seamlessly with the other campers. Superstar secret agent Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello taught me levitation and psi blast. I learned pyro and telekinesis from Ford Crawler himself. He was all over camp, literally all over, due to his ability to teleport. He even took up psychic residence in my head, which I could prove to you if you had a piece of bacon. Needless to say, Things were going great. The one little catch was that the head coach of the camp was stealing campers' brains and putting them inside armored death tanks that I guess he was gonna use to take over the world or something. I went into his mind and found out he just had some issues with his father. I mean, who doesn't, right? Now he's okay. Not great, but okay. Just as Ford Crowley was making me an honorary psychonaut for all my hard work, word came in that Truman Zanotto had been kidnapped. So my fellow psychonauts and I jumped in a jet and set out to find him. Our search led us to an abandoned underwater outpost of the psychonauts in a dangerous part of the ocean known as the Rhombus of Ruin. We found Truman there, held captive by Dr. Lobato, unlicensed dentist and amateur brain surgeon. We freed Grand Head Zanotto, but he's got Silurian poisoning and can't tell us what happened. We know Lobato wasn't acting alone, but he won't tell us who hired him to kidnap Truman. Agent Nine has an idea how to get the information, using an elaborate psychic construction implanted in Lobato's mind. It's risky, but that's just a way of life when you're a psychonaut. If I don't make it back, I really hope you consider publishing my letter. And also, please consider the sample layout and illustrations I included. Well, I better get my head in the right place. The mission is about to begin. Three days ago, Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts, was kidnapped. Yesterday, with my help, the Psychonauts rescued Truman from the underwater lair of Dr. Lobato. But trust me, there's no way Lobato is working alone. Today, we're on a mission. Find out who hired Dr. Lobato to kidnap Truman Zanotto. My name is Raz, and today is my first official day on the job. headquarters all my life. I just thought it would be more, you know? Come on, we're going to be late for the morale corral. Uh, 
And that's how we managed to raise profits uh, to 900% this quarter. That's right. Thank you. And that brings us to our next topic. Uh, Sasha, still have the talking turtle? Maury. Sorry, I just like the clapping. It's now time to give out the award for Employee of the Year. The prize for this year's award is an all-expenses-paid tropical vacation. Ooh. Oh, I hope it's me. The winner of this award may be one of our newest members, but he's also one of our most improved. Congratulations to... Caligosto Loboto. What? Way to go, Cal. You're gonna love this vacation package. I'm jealous. I... I've never won anything. Hope on a vacation. I don't have to go on a boat, do I? No, darling. Woo! All you need to do is get this vacation request approved by your supervisor. What? Just a formality. You just need to get this form signed by your boss. My boss? Yes, darling. Or you could just tell us who your boss is and we could... No! Maybe he doesn't want this tropical vacation after all. The fact I want it, I'm employee of the year. Yes, you are, darling. Now off you go. Get that form signed by your boss. The person who hired you. The person you work for. Okay. Hurry up, or I take that vacation myself. Rasputin? I'm on him. Hurry! We can't let him shake us! Now, before the procedure, it's very important that we clean out your dentist's hat. You don't want any dirty. Go away! Good job, soldier. What's that light? Uh-oh. Zip it back up again. Zip it. Ah! There. Now that your cap is clean, let's check out those choppers. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd swear this place had gremlins. No problem. I'm sure I can do this in the dark. Did you even brush before you came in here today? Honestly, it's a mess in there. Here, rinse and spit. Ah! Everything that doesn't belong. you screaming? Or me? Doesn't matter. Listen, we all have our doubts and regrets, but it's too late to turn back now. Understand? What we have to do now is finish the extraction. What was I supposed to do again? It's him. I've got to stop him. But with the egg in the box, Box in the basket, and the basket in the ocean. No, no, that's not it. Put the old box in the basket, and the egg in the ocean. You put the egg in the basket, and the old egg in the box, and the box in the ocean. <laughs> Simple. And if you tell anyone about me, anyone at all, you'll have to deal with her. No, not her. Please don't make me look at her again. No, no, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. Ah! No, not her.
Wayne was booby-trapped. Yes, whoever hired Lobato to kidnap Truman knew he might be psychically interrogated. The poor thing looks terrified. Did anyone get a good look at his boss? I saw him, but I couldn't tell who he was. And I saw... something else. I saw the thing that terrified Lobato. It was... a woman, dressed in black fur. She was floating over the ruins of a city, and she was commanding serpents of... water. There was something familiar about her. Rasputin, I'm going to show you a picture. Wait a second. I thought I recognized her. True Psychic Tales, issue 43. She's on the cover. Maligula. The deluge of Grulovia. Maligula? She's been dead for 20 years. Ford Crawler killed her himself. A battle from which he never truly recovered. She was a monster, a ruthless, power-hungry psychic who drowned hundreds of her own countrymen. Nevertheless, she still has her loyal followers to this day. This file documents recent activity believed to be the work of these modern-day delusionaries. What are they up to? Well, it's ridiculous, really. There's no scientific basis to... Necromancy. What? They're trying to bring her back to life? It's silly, darling, but if they believe they can do it, they might do some dangerous things. Mia, have you considered the other disturbing fact in all of this? That unstable character. Could we ever kidnap the grand head of the Psychonauts with our help? Yes. You mean... There's a mole in the Psychonauts. If you think this is a mole, you're dumber than you look. Approaching the mother lobe. just figured out how to solve all our money problems. for my brilliant idea for solving all the Psychonauts' financial problems. Yes! I mean, no! I mean, I made some bad connections in your mind, and there was some sort of a bad idea chain reaction, and now... victory of hope over mathematics. I am the Lady Lucktopus, but you can call me Lucky. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. <laughs> it sounded so much cooler than Sasha said. It's time to see what the cards have in store for you. But don't worry, I'm a fair dealer. Oh, 
though, I do like to keep a couple of jokers up my sleeve. Can you believe we got caught in? So embarrassing. We can't get to our smelling salts. We can't leave her mind. Don't let us die in here, man. You know what happens when you die in someone's mind, right? If you die inside mine, you be your pants. Get ready to play. This could be your lucky day. But I wouldn't bet on it. If only I could get to my yeah, game yeah. without a system is just irresponsible. Ooh, that's not good. Unless you like bombs. <laughs> cards here. It's time to double down! 
to excess. I love it! Hey, wait, are we stuck in cars? How long is this going on? <laughs> I don't think these balls. I can't wait to grab food and experience later. <laughs> oh, right in the socket. Oh, hey, that reminds me of the funny. Oh! Hey, got it again. Okay. You can actually borrow my board for a whole week for that shot. Woo! You two go help the others. I just have one last thing to do. Come on, I understand. He doesn't want his friends to see him take a life. Pause this mess. Now I'm going to finish it. Hit me. Everything on red. This here, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. Tear it all down. What are you doing here? You can't see this. Agent Forsyth, hold on. I can explain. This is actually, this is all my fault. I used mental connection to, to change some things in your mind, to make some new connections. I didn't think you did. What? I. I'm sorry. That explains everything. I knew I wasn't this stupid. I mean, I have a degree in mathematics, you know? <laughs> I thought I was really losing it. But it turns out my only problem was you. Wait, wait. I can explain. I... You're right. I knew it was wrong the second I did it. I'm ashamed of myself. I violated your trust and very idea of what it means to be a psychonaut. I guess I'm not ready for this after all. I'll pack up my stuff. You don't need to do that. You're right. I don't even have any stuff to pack. I'll just go. No, listen, you're right about violating trust. What you did was wrong, very wrong. But truth is, I pulled a similar stunt once. Really? Only the person whose brain I messed with, I couldn't put them right again. They had to call in the Psychonauts to undo what I did. That's when I met Truman Zanotto. He taught me how to apply my powers in a responsible way. The Psychonauts, we're not here to change people's minds, Raz. Not here to fix people. We're here to help people fight their own demons. 
the ones they already have. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. You're not at camp anymore, Raz. People could live or die on this mission. <gasps> the mission! No, not yet. I'm not ready. Cassie's not here. Not ready for what? Dinner. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment! Court is in session! Please remain standing! If you're able. from a troubled nation, a Grulovian drowned egg. Ooh. First, our contestant will have to find a very outspoken egg. Oh, me, pick me! Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Prepare it with an unruly onion. He said my name! That's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Chopper. <laughs> Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear two. Finish your dish before the clock runs out, and you'll win valuable prizes from the mystery box. What do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? Sounds easy. We got this. Right, partner? Partner? Yeah, what was I expecting? Well, Chef, it looks like you've won over not just our judges, but also our audience. How do you feel? I, uh, well, I, I, I couldn't have done it without this young man here. No way! You can totally do this on your own now, Agent Bull. No, don't say that. That's great to hear. Because it's time for what, audience? Come on! No! That's right. It's time to double down. Chef will be cooking alone in our isolation station, completely dependent on his sous chef to gather the ingredients he needs for the final three dishes. 
Don't worry, Agent Poole. I'll get you all the ingredients you need. What do you think, judges? Ready for another course? No problem. We are... Professional. And we might have to make a little room. Okay, first dish is vegetable medley. Ingredients on the board. I'm getting out of here before things get messy. a little too much. Oh, but it looks like someone's ready to get back in the mix. That's gonna be messy. I'm out of here. Second dish is royal borscht. Good luck. You can 
can't do this, Compton. Just clear your mind. Watch it. One of those disgusting things. I'm holding it. I'm not going to tune that regurgitated matter. It can't be the fun. Here we go. yourself for a hastily prepared dinner down there. second judge can exercise a little more moderation. Uh-oh, someone's been over-served. And it looks like they're getting ready to press But our final dish is no laughing matter. Mess up these jam tarts and you'll find yourself in a sticky situation. I don't want 
Yes. No offense. Finally. certainly had my fill of excitement today. All right, everybody, let's clean up this mess. Aww. Come on, get a move on. Clean kitchen, clean mind. Ah, uh, you see, this is why I usually get takeout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so cassie. But what do you mean they won't let her out? What, librarian? Hmm. Here, my boy. You've earned this. I need to go find Cassie right away. Lost? We'll never get lost. I know that forest like the back of my hand. Wait! Don't you want help? Yes, he doesn't. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind Poppins. too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? How 
How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God. Or the universe. Or the ultimate cosmic oneness. Or something in that jam. Am I right? Well, basically right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Uh huh. But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything. I promise to be quick. When I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out, as well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Whoa, 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 what the? Ball of light? Are you in here? I'm here. Everything's here. Too many things are here. You're experiencing a sensory overload. Try to stay calm. Whatever you do, don't have a... Oh no, I can't breathe. 
<laughs> oh, I gotta say, Saki, you're almost looking like your old self again. I'm sorry I abandoned the band, you guys. Hey, it's gonna make for a better rockumentary someday. Time for the feast. Feast! Lucy's life and what she meant to us, to try and bring her back. I was useless that day. You 
think you will use this doctor. I tried to stop her with a motivational speech. Action Fulbert, you distracted her long enough that I was able to recruit some local animals to help. Which also didn't work. We all brought what we had to the battle. The main thing was, your beautiful performance did bring out the old Lucy. Just for a bit. It reminded us that she was in there. So, Maligula used to be your friend? And her name was Lucy? <sighs> was she the seventh member of the Psychic Six? Lucretia? You all abandoned me for a thousand years. Twenty. Maybe in your world? Did they even look for me? Did they all forget I existed? We did look for you, fool bear. But my stupid hyper high glaciator there, which we brought to freeze Maligula, well, it, uh... it worked as designed, Otto. You were so deep in that frozen lake, we couldn't find you. No matter how much we dug. I know you're just speculating here, Helmet. I think you're probably right. But I sent you my brain, Ford. Didn't you find it? I... I don't know. Ford must have brought your brain back because I found it in Otto's lab. But he must have lost that memory when his mind was shattered in the battle. My brain was shattered? Well, come on. It was a little crack to begin with. If my body's been in hyper ice all this time, I'll bet I look amazing. monster drowned my body because I failed because my stupid plan couldn't save him no you saved me you threw yourself into the path of danger sacrificing yourself to save me rather dramatically I might add well I mean thank you so I'm not dead I'm out there somewhere waiting for you to come back to me. I'm coming to you right now. I swear. Better hurry. You know how I get. Memories, my boy. Just a show we put on inside our heads. Sometimes the first draft of the script stinks. Thanks for helping me with the rewrites. Now let's go give the people what they want. Everybody stand back. Remember, this is our friend, Lucy. She's going through a tough time. I think she might just need someone to listen to her. Save your sympathy for your robbery, Donato.
looking at for here. But not to worry. I've got your brain, and I'm going to keep it safe back at HQ and come back for the rest of you. Just after I figure out what to do with Lucy. Okay. I know you won't forget about me. I don't think anybody's going to forget about you after that performance. In fact, I think they're demanding an encore. Senior staff only. I'm... Who am I again? Nick John Smith. Nick John Smith, senior mailroom staff. Welcome. Helmet Fulbear, deceased. About time they sent me an assistant. Ford's gonna be so excited when he figures out who you really are, Agent Fulbear. Everybody is. Kid, I owed you one. And now we're square. But I'm not ready to face Crowler. Not until I talk to Bob. But... Lots of baggage to unpack. You wouldn't understand. But please, tell no one of my return. But... I'll see you at curtain call. Oh, somebody shut that door before the wind blows all my letters away. Well, that's a little foreboding. Oh, yes. Only very bad things down there. Perfect place for this. Oh, come on. You'd better leave Bob's memories alone. You don't want to bring out one of his bad moods. What's so dangerous about a bad... Uh-oh. Look, Mr. Mood, I'm sure we can work this out. For instance, let's examine the source of lies. on this bad mood, but it looks immune to it. Let's see if we can get to the heart of this bad mood. Just, I'm starting to remember why I got rid of those seeds. I warned you, and I warned you, but did you listen? No! But don't worry, I'm here to protect you. Again. Hey, what are you doing to him? Leave him alone. I'm protecting him. Protecting him? For what? You're about to find out.
mixing up a special. Oh, oh God, you! <laughs> Tell me if this one's too hot. Were bad news. Oh, now you've gone and put him into a bad mood again. Oh. Ah, this is what 
So bad at gardening yourself. Think you can handle them now? Willing to give it a try. How about those? Well, I'll just take them one at a time. caps too. Hey, that too. We're recycling plastic now. Can you believe it? So, uh, Agent Sonato, think you could help me with a little yard work? Wow, what a mess. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive as far as strength and mass, but in terms of aesthetics, it's all over the place. You talking about the vines or that beard? Who's this? Helmet. So this is where you ran off to. Figures. What? It's me, Bobby. It's your psyching. But... How? Where's your body? I was lost for a long time. Until this one found me. Body's on loan from the mailroom. Hang on. Borrowed lips. Wouldn't be right. Yeah. And he's not as cute as you either. Well, neither are you right now. Come on. Let's at least wash that thing. What's that smell? Mushrooms? You know I hate mushrooms. I know. Ew. Not a chapter of which I am particularly proud. Hey, she was forced into the outlaw life. Not that part. I just meant... Nobody likes a snitch. There you are, all safe and sound again. Thank you, young man. You were a little loud for my liking, but you got the job done. And now you'll help me with those bees? Oh, are you scared of bees? Well, I know of one place where you'll feel completely safe. Hey! Put me down! Of all the double-crossing... This was all part of the plan. It was? Yep. And I thought I was the tricky one. Oh my, we've come to a bad place. No, it's perfect. How is it perfect? Any place is perfect, when we're all together. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. We should never have let her split us up. When we're together, nothing is impossible. Well, that tears it. I hate to damage a book, of course. But that last line was too corny, even for a motivational speaker. We're not going to let you control us anymore. Oh. And which one of you thinks you should be in charge? None of you could stop Maligula. None of you could protect your friends. I am the real Cassiopeia. And I'll show you how we fight off a foreign invader. Get 
ready for the shushing of your life.
water on. Get that gate open, kid, and I'll bust this whole crooked operation. good in a fight. You might have noticed. Hi. Uh, are you the real Cassie? Hmm, not sure. But I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Now then, did you say something about my bees? Oh my, they really aren't behaving, are they? That's it. I'm all out of bee puns, I promise. Think you can do something about them? I'll try, but I feel like I've lost a little control of them. Oh, how I wish my old partner were here. I think they just need a nap. Oh, Bully! How did you know I needed you? A little bird told me. Oh, sorry, I should say three little bees. Well then, think we can get this swarm to stand down? I do. Bedtime for bees. So, how's production? Eh, jars of honey and no one to give it to. Come on. That's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Otto, you're looking well fed. Ford, you sound like your old self. Well, some things are clear to me now that weren't before. But come on, there's a lot to be done. Nick from the mailroom doing here? That's actually Helmet Fulbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like
right forebear. He's in there, all right. But where have you been? Uh, you don't want to know that. I've missed you so much, Big Bear. I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Well, almost everybody. Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here. Fool around on the beanbags, remember? Lucy! Your dad was a brutal dictator and a ruthless strongman. My father's only problem was that he wasn't strong enough. As Tsar, I won't have that problem. Trust me. I've had enough of this. Yes, me too. Hey, I'm not a puppet. I'll break out of this in two minutes and then you'll be sorry. That's all the time I need to have Truman extricate Maligula from her captors back in the physical world. No, please don't. She's in a very fragile state right now. Any stress or memories could... Could awaken the guardian of Grulovia and fulfill all of my hopes and dreams? You don't say. Please excuse me. I don't want to miss this. Hey, you jerk! children just inside the mind of the grand head of the Psychonauts? No. Darling, we saw you come out. That's an incredible security violation. Listen, that's the mole. Kid, you're way behind. The mole is Nick from the mailroom. Sasha just figured it out. But I always had my suspicions. Why, there he is, over there. No, that's the Zesarovich of Rulovia. Or at least his body. His mind is in my dad's head. Ugh, we don't have time for this. Let's go get my dad's brain. Out of my way. Did she just say... Gah. I think we should get out of here. Have you come to pay for your father's sins? Yes, High Priestess. I am here to correct the mistakes made by my father. I am Crystal Malek, son of Zar Theodore, rightful ruler of Grulovia. 
Lucia and servant of Maligula. Lucy, this isn't you. We can fight this together. Vor, you are here too. This is awkward. Ah, there's too many people here. Too much baggage. Need to... Push it all away! Really, wait! Your father had a rough night. He's been remembering things. I lost her, Rasputin. Mio caro, no tears, my love. It's showtime. Time for the devil's fire holes. Quippy, on the bottom. Well, this 
There's a scene I was hoping not to see again. Grandma Morona, my real Grandma Morona, and my dad's father, Lazarus. Nice to see them alive, actually. You're in the way, Maligulugly. Maligulugly. Malugly. Yeah, I gotta practice that before I meet her for real. sister. And I'm here to talk you out of being evil because, you know, you're still family and all. Family? All I see is another unruly Grulovian peasant. A uh, half Grulovian. Another little threat and he's overlaughed from the streets. <laughs> oh boy.
wilt weakling. Hey, that little old lady's inside her. Now that you've seen that, I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Wait, what does that even mean? It means run! part of the fight or flight complex but you're supposed to be small and stay down in the primitive until needed oh, yeah. some terrible mistakes she had made. So we put the word out on KLOB, and guess what? People were listening! At least one of them, and they told the others. Thanks, Morris. You owe me an exclusive on-air interview for this, okay? You got it, buddy.
Marona wasn't supposed to be there. Lazarus shouldn't have brought her. He killed my sister. No, that's not quite right. No, that's not quite right. Listen. I... I killed my sister. I might not be your real grandmother. I killed my sister. But you're still my family! What's so bad? <laughs> I kill lots of people! I can offer now is everything I've got. But there's always room for one more! Oh, I wish I had made you bigger. It's okay, Nona. Look behind her. His little cholesterol. <laughs> yep, and we're gonna fill it. So that's it. 
Caligula gets to live out in Green Needle Gulch with Ford as if she didn't just try to kill people? Hey, it was different when I did it. There was a monster. And, and then, uh, and now... Uh, I think she deserves a second chance. And I think I deserve a vacation. My brain's been through a lot. Oh, no you don't. I've kept this place afloat during your little nap, and now I'm taking two of the 17 weeks of vacation I've saved up to lie in a beach where none of you can find me. Right after we take care of some important Psychonauts business. Well, are you coming or not? Now that's leadership. Despite my best efforts, you interns have seen some really inappropriate things. But I think you've also learned a truth that every psychonaut should know. That there are flaws in our most venerated institutions, in our heroes, and in ourselves. We all make mistakes, and we all need help sometimes. But we all deserve a second chance. You've seen us at our worst. And we've seen you at your best. And I'm proud to say, you have all graduated from the intern program. Woo! Yes. That's what I'm talking about! You are all now officially junior agents of the Psychonauts. Junior? I'll take it.